Final Smashers has always been a staple of the Super Smash Bros. series, ever since Super Smash Bros. Brawl. In fact, they were actually confirmed to be included all the way back in Smash 64 based on unused voice lines. But what can we change about them? I mean, some are pretty, really, pretty, pretty good. Others, not so much. I thought it'd be fun to go through every single character's Final Smash to see what could be changed about them. This will be based on um, the creativity of the Final Smash and how much I think they could change it. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Mario's Final Smash has always remained the same ever since Brawl. Well, he's always used his iconic little flare thing known as the Mario Now, Now, of course, this is obviously referencing Mario's constant use of fireballs throughout his long history of games, but what if he used something more original? Like, maybe a brand new Final Smash? He could use um, many different stuff from the Mario series. One of the things that he could use was transform into a T-Rex like he does in Super Mario Odyssey. Like, it could possibly be a more cutscene Final Smash, but, um, I don't know. I mean, they could keep it the same to keep it more simple, but honestly, they could possibly change it to make it more or awesome. Seeing as sometimes it can be a little bit boring to see um, Mario use the same Sonic Smash ever since Brawl. Donkey Kong's Final Smash has actually changed in Ultimate. Not being um, him using bongos, but instead going to town on opponents. But what if he had a Final Smash that was more in line with the Donkey Kong arcade machines? He could possibly jump into the background and start throwing barrels at his opponents, which could easily reference the Donkey Kong arcade machines. I know this for a fact because I saw Super Smash Bros. Flash use this actual Final Smash as an example. I'll show it on screen just so you can get an idea. It could actually work as a Final Smash and definitely would be a great reference to Donkey Kong arcade machines. So, yeah, that's what I think they could change. Obviously, they, I do like the new Final Smash they brought up, but I wouldn't actually like um, them referencing the actual arcade machines. Link's Final Smash and Ultimate um, has been pretty underwhelming. Obviously, they needed a Final Smash to match the Breath of the Wild style, so they included the include, um, the arrows that um, can instantly KO um, enemies in Breath of the Wild. I mean, honestly, if I'm going to be honest, I really do miss the old Triforce Slash. I mean, obviously, it is still used for Young Link and Toon Link, but honestly, his old Final Smash was just way better, to be honest. I mean, not to say that this, that um, his new Final Smash isn't bad, it's just a little bit on the boring side. I think um, for the new iterations, they should just bring back the Triforce Slash, because I think that's way better than um, Light Arrows. For Samus, I don't think they should change anything about her Final Smash. I think it's perfect the way it is. It's actually... The one of the final smashes from the Smash 64 roster that I think they should keep the same. I mean, it's already pretty good, I don't think I need to change it. <laughs> Yoshi's is another case where I don't think it needs to be changed, because if I'm going to be honest, I definitely do love the huge reference to Smash Bros. Melee, seeing as um, Melee's little cutscene has Yoshi, a bunch of Yoshi's tramp over people. Okay, not really, that's just what the Final Smash does, but that's what the Final Smash references, the scene from Melee. Now, obviously, um, I don't think they should change it. I think it's great. So, just keep it how it is, I don't think they need to change it. I mean, if they wanted to, they could change it to something else, but for now, I think it's great. And they should just keep it how, how it is. Kirby's Final Smash um, is another case where it has changed over time. This time being the Ultra Sword from Kirby's Return to Doom Dreamland. Man, I, I must I marked up saying that, sorry. Um, previously it was um, him using the quick ability, but obviously that was um, not too good. It was repurposed as a assist trophy, but um, it but obviously sometimes you can um, think that maybe you could change it. They might um utilize something from Kirby's. East Star Allies, so, 
but I haven't really played that game, so, um, I don't know. I mean, they might, um, do something. I don't know, I just haven't really played Star Allies, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh boy, this here is going to be a little bit of a hard pill to swallow. Um, I'm actually thinking that they sh for Fox's rework, they should just give him back the Landmaster. But only for Fox. I mean only for Fox. Not just as for f Not only for Fox. I'm only giving it to Fox, okay? My reasoning is... Fox is the only one in Star Fox 64 that actually utilizes the Landmaster. While in previous iterations, Falco and Worf utilize their own Landmasters, but it doesn't make sense seeing as Falco hates using the Landmaster and Worf has never actually confirmed in an official Star Fox game to actually use a Landmaster. So I think that Fox is the only one who should actually keep his Landmaster, while Fal Falco and Worf just have an original Final Smash. But I'll touch on those at a later time. Pikachu's Final Smash has has always been Volt Tackle. In Ultimate, it became less controllable and more fixed pattern. But honestly, I think they should um, possibly just power it up a little bit. I mean, obviously, Volt Tackle is, of course, you know, Pikachu's most powerful move in the Pokemon games. They could possibly, um, change it to be, hey, referencing the Gigamax, Gigantamax Pokemon from Pokemon Sword and Shield, but, uh, what do I know? It's not like I'm a huge Pokemon fanatic or whatever. Luigi's Final Smash is another case where I don't think they need to change it. I think it's perfect the way it is. It's a great reference to the Luigi's Mansion series. Previously in Brawl, it's been the negative zone, which, um, was pretty treat trippy and definitely does, does um, capture Luigi's character as a whole. So, I say that they should just keep it how it is. I mean, if there's ever going to be a new Luigi's Mansion, they could update it, but for now, keep it out as it is. It's perfect the way it is. Nessus always used PK Star Storm, and in Ultimate, um, it became more, made more sense to use PK Star Storm. Seeing as in Seeing as in previous iterations, it was just Ness, but he's never learnt PK Star Storm in Earthbound. In, in Ultimate, he's joined by Paul and Pooh, which um, makes more sense seeing as Pooh is the only party member that can actually use PK Star Storm. So, they they could um, change it a little bit, seeing as in every single entry, it's always been changed a little bit over time. I mean, it does kind of make sense as a final smash, I guess, seeing as it is pretty strong, to be honest. Captain Falcon's Final Smash is definitely a Final Smash that I don't want to be changed. It is one of the most awesome Final Smashes ever. Sure, it's changed a little bit graphically, but it's always remained the same. It should remain the same and never change. I mean, he just uses the Blue Falcon and runs over opponents. It's one of the most awesome Final Smashes I have ever seen. Alright? Don't change what ain't broke. This is one of the best Final Smashes in the game, and you can't change my mind. Now, Jigglypuffs, on the other hand, <laughs> definitely change that. It, like it, it's been the same Final Smash ever since Brawl. So, come on. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, but it's it's super easy to dodge. Okay, even on a small stage. I mean, come on, just actually give her a more original Final Smash, like, that's actually effective. Like, I mean, I'm not too knowledgeable about Jigglypuff's history in the Pokemon games, but... Come on, this it's one of the most underwhelming Final Smashes ever. I mean, if somebody knows how to change, his, change Jigglypuff's Final Smash, um, please let me know down below, but for now, they need to find a way to change it, because... It's honestly one of the worst Final Smashes in the entire game. Arguably one of the worst in the series. And that's it for now. Um, I covered all the 64 fighters. If people want me to cover the other fighters in the series and see how I can change them, then please let me know down below. I would like to um, hear your thoughts, alright? Let me know how you would change them, and I might um, include them in a future video. For now, thank you so much for watching. 
and I hope you have an excellent day. Peace out.